Okay, by popular demand, welcome to Casa Catalina's Cocktail Hour, TFI Friday, everybody. So here's to make the perfect gin and tonic, according to the Spanish and the Portuguese, who, in my opinion, make the best gin and tonic in the world, and they're kind of gin heads, and it's trickling on now. So, first of all, you need a balloon glass. No more of these little straight glass things, please. Ugh. You need one of these. You can get them at Corte Inglés. You can order them online. They're balloon glasses. You can get them on Amazon. So this is the perfect um, gin and tonic glass. I stole this from Spain from a bar, hence the tanker uh, sponsorship. Um, anywho, so I need ice, lots and lots of ice. So I would do this. Big cubes are even better. If you've got the big block cubes, perfect. Lots of lots of ice in here. And Americans like ice, so that's great. Okay, then we're going to get a lime. And I'm going to do a nice zest peel of the lime. Voila. And I like to run it around. Voila. And have it in there like that. Okay. Then. These are juniper berries. You can get these on Amazon in big bags. I've got a big plastic bag full and they're really cheap. So these are juniper berries. And every, this is what you do. You add juniper berries, you know, not too many, like six or seven. Have those in the glass, it really brings out the flavor. So then I'm using Wilder's Gin, Wilder Gin. This is my favorite gin, this is from Ojai. So this is the non, European side of it, but this is my absolute favorite gin. Um, it's very aromatic. Um, so I'm going to do a double shot of this, or whatever this measure is, the big one. I'm taking the big measure, because I like my big measure. And then, you know, Fever Tree is the trendy one, we know that, but I couldn't buy that today. But actually Schweppes, it's very European and Schweppes in, uh, in Spain we always have these little glass bottles of Schweppes that they do. So I'm gonna, I'm using diet Schweppes because I am making skinny girl gin and tonic. Um, now this is all important. So in Spain they will bring you the glass with the gin like this. They'll present it to you as you sit down. They will then come over with the gin, pour you your gin. They will then get your tonic. Then we're going to get the long silver magic spoon. And then we'll place it here. And then you pour the tonic down the spoon. Voila. I like mine long, long and strong. That's how I like my gin. And then you stir it in. I like to put the peel in. And for a little extra, I add a sprig of rosemary, fresh rosemary that I just cut from the garden. So I add that, and voila, French, but it's actually the best Spanish gin and tonic. This is your classic Spanish gin and tonic. Everywhere you go in Europe, this is how they make it, people. Oh yeah, salud. Thank you. <laughs> 